Sadio Mane to face his streak. Bold four overs. Vickish inside edge. Said Anwar will look for the second and uh, he'll get there quite easily. Not a very good return uh, from the deep from Douglas Hondo. But this is the kind of pressure that Pakistan uh, will be looking to put against the fielders. It's a nice drive. That is a lovely shot from Said Anwar. In position early and driving through the line and uh, with great deal of success. Heat streak. I just see him gesturing there. He's probably trying to bowl the off cutter, trying to get it fuller so that Said Anwar is playing a shot. Too full on that occasion, Said Anwar. You see the scrambled seam, suggesting the ball will go away from the batsman, but way too full, presenting Said Anwar with a half volley, which he puts away with ease, opening the face of the bat just to get it past the cover fielder. No. The more runs they get, the easier it will be for uh, their bowling. On back. Well, given his wide by Billy Barton. A uh, little bit of drama created out there by the uh, Zim bowlers. Down the track, and that is a solid blow. That is a great hit from Saidan. Well, that's gone all the way. That's a skimmer, a six. Great timing from the left-hander. Well, Douglas Honda and Tatenda Taibu, Yusuf Johanna would try and come down the wicket. Not so awake for this one. Whilst everyone thought it was the other fellow who was going to play all the attacking shots, Said Anwar comes down and has a beauty of a shot. He's whacked that over extra cover, and it's gone right over the boundary. Good shot. Keeper has come up as a result of that six. Beautiful hit from Said Anwar coming down the track. He probably not take the chance again because the keeper is now up at the stumps. But lovely connection, making a little bit of room to get that elevation, to get the swing of the bat through. Went a long way. Stood still uh, when it was required, Said Anwar. And uh, more field changes now. We've got uh, the second slip away and put at shot mid wicket catching. He'll probably look to ball on that uh, middle and leg stump of Said. No. Not to give him that extra bit of width. Best ground fielding I've seen Australia produce for some time. Down the leg side, it's whipped behind square. Here's another bit of a challenge for the fielder at backward square. Good arm back to, to tender Taibu. It's just a two this time. Well, the clouds have lifted a bit, but still the same colour, black, and that's threatening. It's still spitting out there in the middle. And in the process, Tachinda Taibu has decided to keep the wickets close to the stumps. Get! It's in the air, it's over the man at short mid-wicket. Guy Whittle. They'll get three here, although they won't, only because side Anwar loafed down the first run. Irvine, he's bowled short and wide at one stage. Now short and straight into the body of the left-handers. Taibu's just come over the stumps. They want to trap Anwar back into the crease. He plays a flicky pull shot onto the leg side and gets it over the head of the short mid-wicket. The second catcher, the other one being the first slip. Full ball down to mid-on, whitish mid-on for a single. It's gone to 50 for one from 10 overs now. And there's the one he's going to challenge it. He's flipped it over the short fine leg and it's all the way for four. That's a beautiful stroke, and that's a good sign that uh, in this short game of 38 overs, Heath Streak is going to bowl only eight, and he is into the sixth over. And the first delivery has gone towards the boundary line for four runs. That's a very nice stroke. 
taking all the chances, hitting the ball from the middle stump, moving across and placing the ball beautifully. A little fuller on the outside off this time. Tyberg contends with a double bouncing return. Hits the stumps, but they're comfortably through. Better bowling by his streak. I think the dangerous area is that square leg area for side Anwar. And finish was nice. 37 deliveries he has faced. 35 runs he has scored, Said Anwar. That brought deep backward square in next to the umpire. Fine leg's gone back. I think that's still dangerous. Anwar would prefer to hit it over square leg rather than fine leg. Let's see what he can come up with. It's a full ball and he's gone onto the front foot, lofted it. Will it roll into the rope? I doubt it. It's real close. It's flicked back well. And they've just run three. Brick Mitten, the skipper of the Zimbabwean team. Had to get across a long way. Say that about once again picking the ball from outside the off stump. Hit the ball very hard, slow outfield. He's streak, he's in the air this time. The man's under it, it's going to be difficult. There's two men there and it's down. There's a lot of breeze here, there's a lot of pressure on the crowd, we're on its feet. And Anwar takes a single. Well, in the previous over, when Sean Irvin bowled, he gave away plenty of runs. And now, in this over, there was a chance to pick up the most dangerous man in the Pakistani lineup, Said Anwar. It was a difficult chance, never easy to look over your shoulder. Kept his eyes on and in the end, could hold on to the ball. Wow, is it the lucky break the Pakistani team need? Is it the chance they required to put a huge total in order to threaten Zimbabwe and England? He moved well, Sean Irvine, he moved well to it on the fence and they've got protection down the ground as well so in position a little more difficult for Anwar if streak bowls well enough to find the rope well the best option for Said Anwar at the moment is instead of hitting the ball square area on the onside he should use his feet he's confident enough and he streak is not express when you talk about his pace that was the catch couldn't keep the eyes on the ball and in the end crossed it he wants to be contacting the ball up in front of his eyes. Don't have his hands so low, but it's hard to do at pace. Anwar this time finesses one round for a single. It was a leg by rather than off the bat, but it's been a hairy start for Sean Irvine. He's been in and out of the dressing room 10 times today. He's been told he's got to take the new ball into the wind. He's got none for 17 from two, and now the catch has gone down. Being very late. Current run rate 5.39 per over. A lot more is expected from uh, this Pakistan lineup. That is the batting lineup because they idly want their run rate to be around 10, Andy, which will be very, very difficult under these conditions. The ball is swinging. Zimbabwe uh, know the importance of, uh, of being congratulated by one and sundry. <laughs> Suddenly, Sean Irvin's getting it in the right area. He started very poorly. Just the one delivery before the last rain break and then uh, got punished for short bowling. He's now got it in the right area. He's also had a couple that he's dropped down leg. Nicely taken by Tybee. There's just a little bit of skid off the wicket and uh, extra bounce. An edge probably dropped by the keeper there. He is in a lot of pain. Given as by the 14 overs ball, 73 for three. Well, not easy for the keeper really to stand up and uh, keep wickets because uh, this was a nasty bounce there for Tatinda Taibu. And uh, this one seemed to have hurt him badly. It does. The, the glove work didn't look too bad. That, it looked as they'd got it across, but there was a bit of kick and bounce. So 
probably got it on the outside of a finger and as we talk we see more rain coming down uh, umpires having a good look not sure whether to uh, rush the players off or uh, no it looks as though covers are coming on so another interruption